To Joel, hope you're on the mend. Get well soon. To be honest, right, yeah, that, that, those, those are very touching words, you know what I mean? Back at home with his sister and brother by his side, Joel Buckle is overwhelmed with messages of support. Fulfill my mind with hope, you know what I mean? Well, that's it, isn't it? This was the 27-year-old yesterday in hospital after four hooded men attacked him outside his home. They all jumped in and started punching me all at the same time with not even giving me a sniff of loving defending myself, you know what I mean? Probably one of the worst experiences of my life. If it happens to someone else and they get away with it, they'll just carry on doing it, you know what I mean? This needs to stop. Late on Monday night, Joel says the four men were shouting abuse at him and taunting him to leave his flat above these shops in Burntwood. He was then repeatedly punched in the head. Joel's family believe he was deliberately targeted because he's autistic and has learning difficulties. There are reminders all the way up to Joel's front door of the injuries he sustained here on Monday night. But one of the main concerns for his family now is that he'll be too afraid to leave his home and it'll knock his confidence for good. At times we never thought he'd be able to work or live independently and he's proved us all wrong. He's done so well. and. To have this happen, to knock his confidence in this way, in his own community, it, it's, it's absolutely infuriating. And that anger has been shared by hundreds more on social media who've left messages of support. Some comfort for Joel at least, after suffering such a traumatic 48 hours. I've got loads of mates. Obviously, I've got my family as well, um, my work colleagues at Morrison's. And I'll thank everyone, and I mean everyone, for, for their support, you know what I mean? But no arrests have yet been made. Staffordshire Police say they take allegations like this very seriously and have appealed for anyone with information to come forward to try to catch those who preyed on someone so vulnerable, so violently and seemingly for fun. Chris Halpin, ITV News, Burntwood in Staffordshire.